study the given information and answer the following questions. When a particular input is given to an arrangement machine, then it rearranges them following a particular rule in each step. The following is the illustration of the input and the steps of arrangement. So following is the illustration, right? Which is like a regular process. Input is given to us, then step 1, step 2, step 5, up to step 5. And it also says that step 5 is the last step of the arrangement as the intended arrangement is obtained. And as per the rules followed in the given steps, find out the appropriate steps for the given input. A new input is given to us. The first and foremost, we need to understand what is the logic behind this rearrangement. And you know that the first step in machine input output is to look at the last step. What is the last step here? Step 5. So look at step 5 and try to identify the logic here. And if you look at step 5, what do we have? 16, 29, 58, 71, 84, beach, eagle, hound, party, roast. So clearly, all the numbers have been arranged first, then all the words. Within the numbers, ascending order has been followed. 16, then 29, then 58, then 71, then 84. So increasing order. And within words, alphabetical order has been followed, right? B, E, H, P, R. So I think the logic is very simple. That you have to bring all the numbers to the front, words at the end. Numbers have to be in ascending order. Words have to be in alphabetical order, right? Now, what is more important is to understand the step-by-step -step process. Once you have understood the logic, try and understand what changes have been done in each of these steps to obtain this output. See, input was what? 84, party, eagle, 29, hound, 16, 58, row, 71, beach. So, no changes between input and output, meaning in terms of words and numbers. The order has been changed, but same content, right? We have 16, 29, 84, 71, 58. All the numbers are available here. Similarly, party, eagle, hound, roast, beach. The only thing that we have to check now is from input to step 1, what is the change? From step 1 to step 2, what is the change? So basically, the rearrangement process has to be followed. So see, try to observe try to observe what changes have taken place from input to step 1. Now, if you see 84 as it is, party as it is, eagle as it is, 29 as it is. After 29, it was hound. We have brought 16 here. You see, 16 has been moved to this position. And then roast, which was, you know, in the 8th position, has been brought to this position. So 16 has been moved here, roast has been moved there. And after that, everything is in again order. Hound, 58, 71, beach. So what did we do? We have taken the smallest number, 16, and the last word as per alphabetic order. See, last word, roast, and smallest number, 16. And brought these two at the center. Right? So basically, we are moving the first and the last element of the final output to the center in first step look at second step now what has happened in the second step 84 as it is party party has been moved right see party has uh, come here it was earlier here let's come here then eagle as it is uh, right hound party has been moved and 29 has been moved right 29 has also come here and 16 and roast have been moved aside. Why has hound been moved there? See, 58, 71 beach is as it is. Hound also has been moved. Mm. Look at the next step, what has happened in the next So basically, I mean, if you understand from the first step itself, we should know that we are trying to, you know, bring the first element, the last element to the center. Then we'll bring 29 and party. You see, 29 and 14, party have been brought inside uh, 16 and roast. You're getting it? We are bringing them in between these two. Then next step will anyway bring 58 and hound, right? So look at the next step now. I'll, I'll just check. Something looks wrong in step 2. But look at step 3 now. See, 16, 29, party roast are anyway fixed. What we have done is after 29, we have moved this 58. 58 has been brought here. And hound has been brought here. So see, basically what is happening is we are taking the first and the last element, bringing them to the center. Then second and the last but one element, bringing them between those two elements. Then 58 and hound, bringing them between those two. You're getting it? This is how the change is happening. Now in the third step, what happens? 16, 29 and 58 are fixed. Similarly, hound, party, roast are fixed. We have brought 71 in between this and eagle on this side. And finally, we'll bring, uh, see, 16, uh, 29, 58, 71 are fixed to this point. Eagle, hound, party, roast. Eagle, hound, party, roast are fixed. Uh, the number 84 has been brought here. And the word beach has been brought here. And finally, you get the output. You're getting it. So basically, the arrangement happens in this fashion, right? I mean, uh, let's say some input is given to us, right? I mean, let, let me just say, take something. A, B, 1, 3, 
C, 5, D, and 8. So what do we do in step 1 is C. We want the numbers to be in ascending order and we want the words to be in alphabetical order. So we'll take the smallest number. Smallest number, I mean the, see, what should be the output? Look at the output. First decide the output. What should be the output? You want the output to be this. 1, 3, 5, 8, A, B, C, D. So take the first and the last element. First and last, which means 1 and D. So 1 and D are brought to the center most positions. And everything else is kept aside, right? So A and B remains as it is. 3 would come here. 1 has jumped. D goes there. And then we have C, 5, 8. Yeah, I mean, I'm not writing it. <coughs> Let me write one above the other so that we don't get confused, right? So what do we do? In this position, we we'll bring one. In this position, we we'll bring D. Then A, B, 3, and C, 5, 8. <coughs> so these two have been moved. In step two, what do we we'll do? One and three will separate. In between, we'll bring the next two elements, like three and C. So three here and C here. And everything else will remain as it is. So A, B as it is. C and 3 have gone inside. 5 and 8 here. Then in step 3, what do we do? 1 and 3. C and D will move. In between, we will bring 5 and, uh, you know, B. So A remains here. 8 remains here. And in the last step, 1, 3, 5 are moved here. 8 is brought in between. B, C, D are moved here and A is brought in between. This completes the output. You're getting it? This is what is happening here. That's what you need to understand. Once you have understood this, apply the same thing for this given input as well and you'll be able to answer the questions very easily. All right? So let us look at the questions now. I mean, next slide. So I hope all of you have understood the uh, logic in the output and the step-by-step -step rearrangement. Now let me do this for you. So like I said, one easy way is to quickly write down all the steps, right? Step 1, step 2, 3 and so on. Okay. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on, right? Let us let us write in the steps. So how many uh, words and numbers first of all, right? See 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 words. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 numbers. So 6 words and 6 numbers. What will you do in the step 1? See, <coughs> understand because there are 6 pairs, in all probability, there will be six steps. You're getting it? There are, in, the, in the previous input, I mean, in the illustration given, if you observe, there were, sorry, in the illustration, there were uh, <coughs> five words and five numbers. So we have got five steps. Now in this, there are six words and six numbers. So obviously, we'll get six steps. So, I mean, that is how it should happen unless two things are already arranged in the right positions. So what is the output? We know that the output should be uh, words and numbers in ascending order. I mean, words for numbers first and then words, words in ascending order and words in alphabetical order. So what are we doing? We are bring, taking the smallest number. Take the smallest number. Smallest number is 12. And then the last word. What will be the last word? C, S, A, K, T, W. Last word will be W, warden. So bring them into the center. So we'll take 12 here and warden here. Right? Keep them at the center. And copy everything as, as it is. Right? Remember, this will be the 6th position and this will be the 7th position. So, there should be 5 elements after this and 5 elements before this. So, C, 18, salty, 45, abacus. Then 12 and W have come here. After that, we'll have 30, 91, 67, night and T. So, 5 elements have come before this. 5 elements after this, 12 and W have been brought in the center. In next step, what we'll do, we'll separate 12 and W, right? And we'll bring two more elements between them, right? So what will those two elements be? Next number, 18. And what comes before W, I think it will be T. So T comes here. Then copy everything else as it is. I think I have limited space here. So let me <coughs> write it a little congested, right? I mean, So we'll take 12 here, W here, we'll get 18 and T. Copy everything else as it is. So C, 18 is gone. Remember from the previous step. So S, 45. C, S, 45. A, after that we have 12, 18, T, W. And here we'll have 30, 91, 67, K. T has gone there. Now what do we do in the next step? We'll now move 12 and 18. So 12 and 18 have been moved. Then T and W have been moved. What comes after 18? After 18 we need 30. And before T, I think we need S. S comes here. Copy everything else as it is, right? So S is gone and 30 is gone. 
so what is left out now c 45 a and here we'll have <coughs> 30 is gone right so 91 67 k what do we do i mean these are not in proper order what do we do in next step uh, 12 18 30 are moved out similarly s t w are moved out we we'll get two more elements what are the two elements here after 30 we'll have 45 and before s we'll have k copy everything else that is so 12 is gone 45 is gone so c and a here and 91 and 67 here what comes in the next step 12 18 30 45 here we'll have k s t w after 45 we'll have 67 and before k we'll have c a is left out here and 91 is left out here and you know what happens in the last step right so this is step one step two step three step four step five and what will be the last step the complete order right a will come here and 91 will come here so last step would be what it will be <coughs> we do a right i'll write the sixth step here right so the order there so 12 18 30 45 67 91 then <coughs> a c followed by k s t w okay because i'm explaining it is taking so much of time right when you do it yourself right you'll do it much faster or when i have to do it myself i'm i'm sure i'll save at least one more minute here okay the only thing that you have to keep in mind while answering such questions is try to write everything one in in, <coughs> in a proper aligned way right like for example the first element should come vertically in the same position second element should come vertically in the same position and so on so by any chance if you miss something somewhere you will get to know like for example if my step ends here itself i know that something is missing so i can rectify it or if i get one extra element here right something here i know that i've got something extra so i can check and rectify so that is one very important point which you have to keep in mind right that always try to align it properly right in the vertical order so that it is easy for you to understand if something has gone wrong <coughs> now answer the question which element is fifth from right in step three step three is this fifth from right first second third fourth fifth t so the answer is t t is tied basically right so option four how many steps will be required to complete the given input i think for this we need not do the arrangement also we know that there will be six steps required unless two items are already arranged which will not be the case in in such kind of arrangement because see we are always bringing them to the center right so in the first step itself we will get to know whether something is already in the right position or not right so six steps would be there anyway which element is seventh from left in step two in step two seventh from left first second third fourth fifth sixth seventh t again tied <coughs> how many elements are there between 45 and salty in step six step six is here between 45 and salty 45 is here and salty is here find out number of elements 1 2 3 4 5 right 1 2 3 4 5 5 elements what is the position of 45 from left in step 4 position of 45 from left in step 4 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 sixth position right step 4 from left 1 2 3 4 5 6 so sixth option one will be the answer 